Previously on Guilt. Grace, what did you do? I don't care if they found Grace standing over the body with a bloody knife in her hand. I know my sister is innocent. Never underestimate jealous girls. Grace said that Molly thought she was being watched as someone was stealing her stuff. You want someone to pay for what happened to your sister. You have to trust the system. What was Grace's dead roommate doing with the scarf I gave you last Christmas? Well, I don't like what you're insinuating. You need to give yourself permission to mourn. How about you, Professor? Will you be mourning, Molly? What Scotland Yard needs to do is stop wasting time harassing an innocent, terrified young girl. Start trying to find the sadistic butcher who killed Molly Ryan. Think you're ready. Luckily, in a case this dirty, there is plenty of guilt to go around. Uh, I'm Molly Ryan. And I'm Grace Atwood. An cool. Irish girl and an American chick do London. We are visiting the home of the Queen of England. I really need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Would she let me use her loo? Why are we even watching this? It's just a stupid travel vlog. Guessing Stan didn't wake us up at the crack of dawn for nothing. That Harvard education wasn't lost on you. Unless we cough up 15,000 quid, this little beauty goes viral. Turn it off. Oh, come on, we're just getting to the good part. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Why is he texting you? Give me the phone, Grace. Why is he texting Give you? Give it here. The phone. Are you seeing him? No, of course not. Give it to Ow, me. Ow, you're hurting you me. Are Ow. Ow. You're screwing me off. bad, but I swear, I didn't hurt Molly. Really? Because I'm pretty sure she said you were hurting her. No, she was overreacting. We laughed about it later. I don't care if you two made friendship bracelets and Pinky swore you'd never fight again. You look like you want to kill her, which means everyone will assume that you did. We have to make this go away. Do you know who sent it? I'm working on it. It's got to be Stephanie from our lit class. We gave her our videos to edit. She knows how to make stuff look cool. Molly thought that when they went up, We'd be famous. More like infamous. All right. Now, before I go clean up this stinking turd, I need to know what else I'm going to step in with you. Nothing. You sure? Molly Ryan's murder is like news cycle crack. This girl's not the only creep who's going to try to exploit you. Every idiotic thing you ever did, said, or vomited on social media will come back to haunt you. I need to know if there's any other bombs out there. There's nothing else. All right. I'm gonna go bury this. You're gonna keep your butt in this room. But it's Molly's memorial today. I have to go. That's a good one. <laughs> like, I'm gonna let her do that? You know, her friend died. Could you act like a human being for a minute? Grace will look guiltier if she's not there. We want people to forget Grace even exists. That memorial is going to be swarming with press. Last thing Grace needs are some talking heads debating whether her short skirt makes her look like a murderous slut. I don't even want her to walk down the hallway to get ice. You got it? I'm going. I don't care what he says. We'll go together. It'll be fine. Grace. Who was texting Molly? You were so pissed. Was it Luke? No. I was totally wrong. It was nothing. Well, whatever it was, I need to know. Might come back to bite us. Here's the thing. Molly was kind of, she was kind of a flirt. She liked older guys and, oh my God, this is so stupid. James was in town a lot, so when I saw that he texted her, James, I- James was texting Molly? No, it was nothing like that. She was helping him pick out my birthday present. He got me this. You bought that? No, I didn't buy that. It was the truth. Besides, who else was he gonna ask? It's not like you were going to help him. There's a woman. She fails in my free time. She can come down. She loves to be declined. There's a woman. She's everything. <sighs> 
we said we weren't going to do this anymore. <sighs> Why don't we just stop saying that we're not going to do this anymore? <laughs> you two carpool or something? You don't think Madam Prosecutor would want to hitch a ride in my crappy car there? Look, in five minutes, I've got to go convince my boss that we're making some progress in the Molly Ryan murder investigation. So please, give me something I can use. Still trying to confirm whether Molly was shagging our naughty professor. He's been at his brother's cottage in Kent since the tire slashing on the news. But I want to get him in here today to get a statement out of him. Any leads on who else the baby daddy might be? Well, if Molly's friends know anything, they're keeping the trap shut and the lab are taking their sweet time of getting us any fetal DNA results. I think that Luke Pascal is a good candidate. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to think that a lap dance still counts for something. Yeah, but Mr. Lap Dance, he's got an alibi. Grace Atwood. And he is hers. So pretty flimsy in my book. <sighs> Maybe they killed her together. Or Luke is protecting Grace. If Grace saw that lap dance, <laughs> she might have snapped. See, but what I'm stuck on is Molly's missing phone. A girl like that. Her phone is super glued to her hand. And the phone isn't the only thing missing. Grace said that Molly thought someone was watching her, stealing her things. Now, Molly's stuffed monkey's been stolen from the crime scene. That's what you've got for me. A missing monkey. So, the media vultures are right. And we've got bugger all to make an arrest. First night's always the hardest. Sorry, I freaked out. I just didn't think you'd ask for that. I meant what I said when I told you you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Your boss seemed really pissed off. He said the client refused to pay. And I, of course, the club, like, a bunch of money. I'll handle Finch. Oh. This is what your cup would have been. That one hadn't stiffed us. Seriously? You earned it. But it's just paper, Kaylee. Yeah. It's not worth it if going back to the club takes something from you. Mm. Something special. <laughs> Gonna be okay? Yeah. I want to finish picking photos from Molly's memorial. <laughs> Luke, why wouldn't you pick up? The press is all over my hotel. I'm going crazy. I hate not talking. I miss you. Please, call me. You kill more. <laughs> Answer me! Did you kill my sister? No. I saw the papers. You're obsessed with that professor. You didn't want Molly to steal him away from you. 
So you went after her like you went after his wife? No, I dumped Professor Lindley months ago when I found out he was married. Don't lie to me. I loved Molly. I'd never hurt her. Do you follow me here? Molly had this in her room back home. Is this all her stuff? Uh, yeah. She used to live in this building before we all moved in together. Why are you here? I wanted some of uh, Molly's pictures of when she was growing up for her memorial today. What have you got there? It's just an old necklace of hers I found. I don't remember Molly ever wearing this. I can't believe I let a year go by without seeing my sister. She talks about you all the time. She did. Yeah. She told me when she was little she wanted to take ballet lessons. But your mom said they were too expensive. One day you walked her to class and they were already paid for. She never knew how you got the money. She was really good. She deserved them. She also said she never had a single date in high school because you scared all the boys away. They were all agents. <laughs> Do you know how I found out Molly was pregnant? In the bloody papers. Do you think that professor knocked her up? I don't even know for sure if she hooked up with him. One day I saw him creeping on her and I warned her to stay away from him, but... You know, Molly, she did what she wanted to do. Do you know where that bastard is? Are you gonna go after him? I wasn't there for Molly when she needed me. But when I get my hands on whoever killed her, I promise you before they die, they're going to suffer. Where's your sister? You left her alone? Let me spell it out for you. Leaving Grace to her own devices, she grabs a shovel and starts digging her own grave. You and that hat can quit worrying about Grace, finding her a new lawyer, someone who's not on James's payroll. Oh, you really do have a bug up your butt about your stepdad, huh? Pretty sure you know why. James had something going on with Molly Ryan, didn't he? His stepdaughter's friend? Jeez, that would be bad. See, you didn't answer the question. Right, you can't answer the question. Attorney-client privilege. I know you're ethically challenged, so let me spell it out for you. The fact that you're representing James and Grace at the same time is big old conflict of interest. It's only a conflict of interest if I am not smart enough to keep both James and Grace out of jail. Fortunately for all of us. You know who else is smart? Andrew Grantham. Got a call into his office to take Grace's case. I love Andrew Grantham. Yeah, just sponsored him at the McAllister Club. Skipped a 10-year wait list. No way he's gonna be poaching a client of mine. Sorry, try again. Michael Converse, my mentor from law school, says he's that he's- He's preparing to defend a serial killer. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Yeah, he's not available. You could do this all day long. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I'm sure you could find someone else to represent your sister. They might even be less ethically challenged than me. But you know what? They're all losers, every single one of them. Every single one has seen a client of theirs go to prison, but not me. And I don't care who's paying for it. I'm not about to let Grace wind up in jail because I am not a loser. Now, can we please just move past this I'm a bad guy thing and get on with defending your sister? Maybe if you'd gone with that one. Fedoras are for pimps. Molly Ryan was my student, nothing more. Oh, please, really? Look, I didn't have to come down here. I, I could have hidden behind my lawyer. 
But I'm innocent, and I want you to focus on finding whoever killed that poor girl. Or you're a highly educated man who thought it would be a cinch to put one over on the lunks down at the station. I'm not here to play games. So ask your questions, and let's get on with it. What about Grace Atwood? Was she nothing but a student, too? Well, that was a big mistake. It's been over for months. Ah. Was Karina Grabel a mistake? Evelyn Winters, Veronica Ansel, Sarah Kayla. Phew, this is a lot of girls. Was it like new semester, new victim? Those was... women were just as willing as I was. It was Molly willing? I didn't sleep with Molly. Why not? Why not? She was just as pretty as these girls. Just as beautiful, just as young, just as vulnerable to your charms, or... <laughs> Maybe she didn't think you were so charming. Maybe she thought you were just a pathetic old pervert. Did she laugh in your face, Professor? Is that what happened? Is that why you didn't sleep with her? Is that why she's dead now? I asked her to a coffee once. She said no, and that was the end of it. Right? I didn't kill Molly. I never laid a hand on her. I swear. In that case, you won't mind giving us your fingerprints and a DNA swab so we can clear this up for good, will you? Lily's wife never dropped his alibi. Even when I dropped the sweet young things in her lap. Yeah, Lily didn't crack either, but I did get prints and DNA, so you never know, we might get lucky. Did you get any hits off the phone? Not a single text to Molly or any of his other birds, which means he's got a burner somewhere. Yeah, which is probably at the bottom of the Thames by now. Along with Molly's phone. <laughs> Making a playlist for for her memorial. How have you been? If you need a place to crash, my sister and I have a hotel suite. There's plenty of room. I'm covered. But the press on this case is nuts. You must be going mental. You have no idea. And my lawyer says the press is gonna find everything. Hey, does Finch record things at the coordinate? You don't need to worry about the coordinate. Besides, you only went once. It's not a big deal. My sister would freak. So would Molly's family. I went to her old storage unit today to find her necklace, but her brother showed up and he took it from me. Better he have it than the coppers. Maybe I should let the police find it, though. I mean... Maybe the killer was one of Molly's clients? What are you saying? What if some sick wacko got obsessed with her? There were some pretty freaky people at that place. Molly's dead because I brought her there. It's my fault. No. Roz, Molly just... quit over a month ago. None of the clients know anything about our girls. You want to know who I think killed her? One of the tosses you invited back to our flat. You've never had to face the consequences of the selfish crap people, but stepdaddy can't write a check this time. He can't change the fact that you invited a bunch of strangers into our flat. Then you went upstairs to shag your boyfriend and left Molly down there all alone. And now she's dead. You really are a bitch, aren't you?
Are you okay? I'm so glad you're here. Natalie. You look well. Hey, James. Grace, where have you been? I had some stuff to take care of the memorial. You can't just go running around. Girls, you've both been through a lot these past few days. I wish we were together under different circumstances, but hey, we are together. So why don't we go have a nice lunch, huh? Hmm. This is awesome. You're the best. Have you been doing a lot of shopping this week? While Grace's life is falling apart? I firm the deal going down if I bail. Well, put it this way, you girls would not be staying in such a nice place. And thankfully, I knew that Grace had your support. Here you go, Mr. LeHugh. Oh, thank you. Did you enjoy Lapo Home last weekend? The woman next to me was coughing through the whole thing, but otherwise, yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You were here last weekend? Actually, it was a few weeks ago. But you didn't correct him. You want me to correct a waiter who's just trying to be pleasant? No. No. You're right. So, did you two get together when you were here a few weeks ago? Go out for dinner? I'm sorry, honey. I flew in for a meeting and left the next morning. Yeah. I just figured that for once I wouldn't ask you to entertain the old geezer. <laughs> you didn't have time to see Grace, but you went to the theater? She's ruthless on cross-examination. <laughs> I went with a client. What can I say? Knock yourselves out. Why can't you just be nice to him? Because I don't trust him. Did you see how shifty he was about being in London last weekend? You know what I see? I see that James is still good to me, even though Mom's gone. He paid for me to be over here. He's paying for this hotel for my lawyer. Grace. Listen to me. You remember that scarf you thought was Molly's? I gave that to James last Christmas. Why would Molly have it? James was at our flat a few times. Maybe he left it and Molly started using it. I don't know. I get you don't want to admit James is a bad guy. But deep down, you have your doubts. I know you do. You wouldn't have freaked out on Molly in that video if you didn't think James was skeevy enough to try to sleep with your friend. It's not true. You know he cheated on Mom all the time. I think that oh. waiter had it right. Seriously? I think James was in London last week, not Amsterdam. So you're saying James killed Molly? James had more to do with Molly than he wants to admit. I mean, come on, he was texting Oh my God, her. Natalie, stop trying to make me hate James. I can't believe he tried to take another... F take another what, Grace? Say it. I took Dad from you, right? It's my fault he's dead. I didn't say that. Wait, where are you going? Molly's memorial. Wait, I'm coming with you. I don't want you to come with me. Hey, Ross. I thought I might find you here. I've already spoken to Kaylee. She won't do it again. You do have a way with the girls, Rosie. There's still the little matter of the 20,000 quid Kaylee cost me. Your girl. Your problem. I'll get it. I know you will. Because you know what happens to girls who don't keep their promises to me. Don't you, love? Is that beer as piss warm as the rest of them here? <laughs> you know, it's not too bad. You're American? Yeah, New York. And from Jersey. <laughs> Joe, nice cold one of these for my fellow Yank. On me. Thank you. You're restoring my faith in humanity. I just spent three hours at the American Embassy dealing with this horrible woman who apparently hates people. Or maybe just me. Does she have a mustache? 
Yes. How did you know? I work at the embassy. No way. Why were you there? Okay. My boyfriend works in London, and I gave up my whole life to move here and be with him, but I think he's shacking up with his yoga instructor. Last weekend, he said he was in Amsterdam, but I could swear I heard Big Ben chiming in the background. So I thought maybe if I checked his passport record, I could see if he was actually in London last weekend. It's so pathetic, I know. No. I can help you nail him. I have access to the passport records. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. You're amazing. His name is James LaHue. L-A-H-U-E. Ghosting me for dates? I'm so sorry. I, I, I just want to say. So now you want to talk? Grace, please. Look, I was ashamed because I was such a jerk last time I saw you. And it's just you have all these people who care about you. And the only person I have in the world is you. You're not alone, baby. James, my sister, they don't get what I'm going through. You're the only one who does. I know it's a small consolation, but it must be nice to see how many people are here to honor your sister. Have you seen that bastard, Lindley? He's not at his house. I was hoping he might be bold enough to show his face at Molly's memorial. You went to Lindley's house? Patrick, I saw your criminal record. The last thing your family needs right now is for you to be in any more trouble. My family needs answers. I need answers, and you're not giving them to me. Look, I can promise you. If Lindley had anything to do with this, we'll get him. But you need to stay away from this investigation. Focus on Molly and allow yourself to mourn for her. I'll mourn for Molly when our killer's in the grind. Patrick? Hi, I'm Vina Patel. I'm a reporter for the story. I hear you're frustrated with Scotland Yard's progress in your sister's case. You're looking for Professor Lindley, aren't you? I have a source close to the investigation who's told me where he's hiding out. I'll talk if you will. Stephanie. Thought so. That stunned look kind of gave you away there. Don't worry, no one's gonna think you're a sneaky little blackmailer. How do you find, find you? Grace said you'd be the skank with a bad hombre. Sorry, it's her words, not mine. You wanna sit down? I imagine it's not every day someone hands you 15,000 pounds. Do you have it? Oh, hello. Do you have the laptop? Excellent. All right, so here's the thing. I find it kind of hard to believe that someone who would profit from her friend's murder would actually keep her promise about destroying the video. So I'm going to make you a little promise instead. You keep your trap shut. I won't tell your deeply religious parents about your abortion. 
I'm sorry. I mean two abortions. Deal? Well, and uh, I'm going to keep that. But here, get yourself a new laptop. Or some condoms. Just saying. When I first moved here, I was pretty homesick. And then I met Molly, and she was from a different country, too. And she missed her family just as much. But that wasn't going to stop her from having fun. And she wanted me to have fun, too. She took me to her favorite clubs, on walks in this beautiful park. She introduced me to London Takeout. <laughs> And she told me that only in Egypt calls it takeout over here. It's, it's takeaway. And whenever, whenever I was down, um, she always knew how to make me laugh. Mainly because almost anything could make her laugh. <laughs> and when she got going, you really couldn't stop her. It was seriously a problem. <sighs> That's the thing about Molly. Is nothing really stopped her. Ever. Are you ready to go, Your Highness? I don't know how I'm supposed to keep going. Now that she's stopped. I'm sorry, Molly. I love you. That girl can really work up the tears. I'll give her that. Gwen, look at this. That's a pretty interesting perspective, isn't it? Was that taken through Molly's window? Then the angle. It's dead on. This has got to have been taken from the same floor of the building, directly across from them. This could be their stalker. Could be. But I'm telling you, there is something off about Grace Atwood. You don't slash someone's tires unless you've got a wicked temper in a violent street. Slashing up tires is a far cry from slashing up your friend. I just don't buy it. Because she's a girl. Because she's young and pretty and from a wealthy family. Maybe this is kind of a little close to home for you, huh? What does that mean? This isn't Ashington. This has nothing to do with that. Chase down whatever leads you want, but I'm telling you, you better not take your eye off Grace Atwood. I didn't want to cry. It's OK. I bet Molly would have loved it. You think so? I bet she's looking down right now, relieved that you didn't tell the whole world you guys met when you stopped her from walking across campus with a skirt tucked into her underwear. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, Luke. What is it this time? They're calling me American Psycho. What a surprise. You're a liar, James. You weren't in Amsterdam last weekend when Molly was killed. You were in London. Your passport was stamped at Heathrow two days before the murder and wasn't stamped in Amsterdam until a day later. So what, you're accusing me of murder now? You were texting with Molly. And I know it wasn't over some BS birthday present. The only thing that's keeping me from going straight to the police is my fear that they'll see this as one more reason Grace had for wanting Molly dead. 
But if you don't start talking right now, so help me God, I will. You're right. I had an affair with Molly. It was brief. She was a dunk, so I'm a dirtbag, but I'm no murderer. I didn't mean to see her that night. I was playing poker at Aspinall's. You checked their security tapes. You must be up to something really dirty. It's never that easy with you. Come on, You never admit when you're lying. Whenever mom would catch you in some story that didn't add up, you would just bob and weave until she just got tired and gave up. I'm not gonna get tired, James. I'm gonna figure out what you're hiding. What do you want from me? I want you to stay away from Grace. If you do that, I'll quit digging. But if you go near her, or if any of your shady crap blows back on her, I will make you pay. Enjoy your salmon. A memorial for murder victim Molly Ryan, a young Northern Irish woman studying in London. It's like whack a mole with this girl. Tell me you crap the bed, too. We have a Natalie problem. Really? I find her so charming. She knows I was in London the night that Molly died. She knows that we were texting. But we need to contain this. We have to find Molly's phone before someone else does. Don't worry, my guy's on it. As soon as someone turns on that phone, we find him. Well, that's not good enough, Guttery. I am paying you a fortune to fix this. Now fix it. I think I've figured out which flat that photo was taken from. I can do one better. I got a hit off Lindley's prints. From the crime scene? No. Another dead girl. This one took a header off a building up in Oxford six years ago. Guess who her professor was? Went down a suicide. Lindley's paw prints were all over a rain slicker she was wearing when she fell. Who was pushed? Son of a bitch. Right, let's bring him in. Tea's ready.
Who are you? Who am I? I'm Molly Rain's brother. You got her pregnant, didn't you? No. No! You knocked her up? And then you killed her! Get away from my husband! Get away from him now! If I was out there watching all the press on me, I'd probably think that I was a slut. Selfish, irresponsible. I've made some major mistakes. It sucks, but I kind of get it. But there's one thing I didn't do. I didn't kill Molly Ryan. She was my friend. This summer, judge for yourself. All new guilt Mondays at 9, 8 central on Freeform. And catch up anytime with the app or on demand.